Hello friends, I am Vikram from Ezeon Technologies. Welcome to my Spring Framework project work series. In my previous video session, I discussed about a login operation. Look at this step. We have done this login operation we have implemented in previous video. And in this discussion, in this video, I am going to work for this task, second task. And here I will prepare two pages one will be admin dashboard and another is user dashboard and I, I will link both the pages from my user controller right so let's write prepare the pages so come to the coding so here I'm going to use just a moment here I'm going to check this view page correct we have user we have dashboard for the user this is the uh, user dashboard and I have to use here user options this is already we, we created in previous video session and let me link this page from the controller so we are using here user controller and just want to map that page just copy this and uh, add it this is your user dashboard and the link will be the link will be here simple just right here slash user slash dashboard look at this I'm categorizing the, the URL according to the role so all the URLs related to the user will be starting from the user slash and all the uh, pages starting from the uh, all the pages for the admin role will be starting from slash admin okay so this will be your page this will be your JSP and what is the name of the JSP dashboard underscore user dashboard underscore user so this is this is page will be displayed for the user when user is logged in so let me try this so this is the landing page this is the login page I have to work for the login in coming uh, video so let me test that page here this is user slash dashboard can we see that page yes user dashboard page is visible ideally this page is not directly accessible without login but I will uh, do all the uh, security settings in coming series but I just want to check whether the page is linked properly so this is correct similarly I am going to write here one more mapping for the admin dashboard so this is for admin and just change this to admin and the page will be admin in fact I need to copy this page and uh, just copy paste this so copy this and now paste this so it has created a page for me and I'm going to rename this admin okay and now change this to admin dashboard this is correct and what else I can do here yes this is your admin dashboard and uh, admin options will be placed in this page so let me access this from the controller look at this admin slash dashboard will call this recent page so this is your user and now change this to admin can we see here admin dashboard right so here we'll add some more options for the admin but one important thing is the menu is common uh, right now because we have not uh, you know categorize the menu according to the role so don't worry about it in next video I will talk about this so this is enough for this video thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more updates and see you in next video